Um, one of the reasons why we wanted to do that is because it was just like a really, really special moment that we just wanted between us two and it was such a good memory of sharing everything with Chase and it was just nice. It was so hard to keep a secret from Chase. Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I thought I'd just do a little closure on my video that I did where I was talking about Kennedy, Kennedy K, part of the Not Enough Nelson clan. She's one of the elder kids. And she did a video where she was basically doing a telling my husband I'm pregnant. But the catch was we didn't actually see her showing her husband that she was pregnant. And there was a lot of suspicions going around on the Reddit thread and just in their comment section, people were like, um, how come we saw the ultrasound scans on the fridge on the day? It was just a bit sneaky suspicious. People still have their suspicions. But she basically said in a description box, which I know this to be true because all of their eight-year-old army was over on my video telling me that we're all gonna find out, we're all gonna see his reaction. I think his name is Chase, is that his name? We're all gonna see his reaction. However, we never saw his reaction that was supposed to be coming out on the 6th. And this was her explanation as to why. It's him for the video. And obviously, Chase, are you excited? I think obviously you're excited. Oh, yes, I'm very excited. Okay. And um, one of the reasons why we wanted to do that is because it was just like a really, really special moment that we just wanted between us two. And it was such a good memory of sharing everything with Chase. And it was just nice. It was so hard to keep a secret from Chase. <laughs> that was something crazy. But we're both really excited. And we've been looking forward to this. Now, I was actually sent this comment, which I am half in minds about. I'm a little bit like, yeah, do I reckon they realize that, or like Kennedy realized that actually people were cottoning on to the fact that it wasn't a real video. Like she had already told him ahead of time. She just wanted to get this video out there for the clicks and the views because typically these kind of videos do so, so well on trending, especially with like, you know, mother care and all of that. It just does so well, you know, telling my spouse I'm pregnant, telling my husband, telling my family. And I feel like she had already told her husband, but she just wanted to make that video. And her then not showing his actual reaction, even though she said that she would do, I just think it's a little bit sus. Only because she literally said it in the description box. So I'm just a bit like, what changed? Like, I don't really get it. But either way, like, either way, does it really matter in the grand scheme of things? No. But my whole point was that influencers will tend to go wherever the money is. And if they're not being honest, especially if they've got a very, very young audience, if they're not being honest with them and saying like, hey, this is like, you know, a reconstructed scene. This isn't actually me telling him for the very first time they already knew or whatever the case may be. I just think it's a lot better because otherwise it feels like you're just using your audience for money and an audience that isn't going to know the difference. Like you should go look at all the comments I've got on that video. Majority of them are just people saying she is pregnant. Da, 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 da. It's like I didn't say she wasn't pregnant. I never once said that. I actually congratulated her within the very first minute of even talking. So I don't think a lot of people really watch that video fully, but you get what I mean. There's also a flip side of it as well, where her sister, Cass, Cassidy, just Cass, basically has struggled with conceiving a baby. They have documented it. She has documented it a fair bit. And, you know, when anyone struggles with infertility, it is super sad. And, you know, it is. It is super sad. There's been a lot of conversation back and forth of people saying, you know, is she jealous of Kennedy? There's been a lot of, um, you know, pit, like, whatever. There's, there's been a lot of um, comments thrown around saying, how come you haven't filmed her reaction? Why haven't you filmed Cass's reaction? And the thing is, is that infertility is such a serious thing. And if someone's struggling to get pregnant, no matter how much they do love their family member, it's always going to hurt a tiny little bit. And Cass did say that she did come out with a video. And before I play any of these videos, I just want to make it first and foremost known that I've never for one moment thought that there was any jealousy going on. I mean, their sisters, like Cass's reaction probably isn't going to be filmed because it's probably a little bit of a sensitive topic to her. That being said, I don't appreciate just generally what Not Enough Nelsons are about on YouTube. I think I've spoken about this enough already. Uh, I don't like the exploitation of the children. I don't like the fact that the lack of privacy that, that the kids are given. But that doesn't mean to say that I think the the kind of level of hate directed towards Cass revolving around this pregnancy is fair. 
I don't know, it is an odd dynamic, but there has been a lot of people saying that there is some sort of sibling rivalry and I just don't, I just don't think so. It's honestly so strange how there is even like a family channel of this magnitude that has like various, like there's just so many of them. And already, we're already on like the grandkids. We're already on the grandkids gonna be like, you know, made into um, made into like YouTube stars. I feel like we've already we've, like, skipped a whole generation or something. I think I was gonna cry. I was just gonna film a get ready with me. I can take a lot of hate about pretty much everything. The way I look, doesn't matter. The way I act, I don't care what people have to say about that. The hate is fine. Oh. When it comes to the point, multiple, multiple people say that I hope that she never has a baby or I hope she never gets to experience pregnancy because of how I spend my money or the way I act doesn't fit how they think I should. I've never cried over hate, but when it comes to that, I couldn't take it and I break down because how could you wish that on somebody, especially somebody who's had a miscarriage, who's been struggling with trying to get pregnant. That is just so low. The thing that I don't think people necessarily realize is that she has to act about like 15 years old for her to be in any way relatable to the people that she has watching her like i've watched quite a lot of her content recently and it's not for me just because she does come across as very immature she does come across as very childlike and i i, I honestly think the only reason as to why that is is because she has to pretty much retain that like childhood image or like the older one out of them um, for her young audience as fans. And this is exactly what I was talking about in my last video where I was saying it's so problematic to have these YouTubers who are trying to do content that is pretty much just made for kids. Like it is made for kids, but they don't say it's made for kids to try and keep up this like monetary gain. Sorry, there's like a weird, um, there's like a weird pipe going on around me. Think those kind of comments, like if you have those kind of comments directed at you, that is absolutely vile and no, no one should be talking like that. Let's talk about this. This has been my top most asked question. A little bit of a backstory. I had a miscarriage and me and my husband have been struggling to get pregnant. Now that my sister's pregnant and announced it, a lot of people are wondering how I'm feeling. I'm just gonna be honest. My sister was really sweet and brought me into a room, told me she was pregnant. I obviously started crying. They were happy tears because I was so happy for her and I was excited to be an aunt. I also struggled a little bit because obviously it's hard. What's now been like the consensus as well, not not with everyone, a lot of people have been extremely supportive, but some people are even saying nowadays that it's a little bit strange because I feel like Cass was quite quiet and now she's done like three or four TikToks in a row, basically kind of switching it around and then talking about her. And to be honest with you, I don't like Cass's content. I don't like, I think the whole dynamic of not enough Nelsons is just awful. That's just my own opinion. However, because it literally says just Cass or like Cass, whoever, whatever, that is her channel name. Okay, that that is her channel name. She can talk about whatever the hell she wants. And if she wants to talk about her bad experiences and her um, you know, her mis miscarrying and things like that, like she's perfectly entitled to, and she can do that on her page do you know what I mean so I have also seen those comments as well and if it's on her own page and she wants to bloody be able to talk about that kind of thing she can I know it may seem like, seem like I'm kind of like sticking up and kind of sticking up for like family vloggers or whatever but I feel like in this element like people have got to have a little bit of compassion but on the flip side of it it does irk me slightly just because I kind of feel and I might be completely wrong that this might just, you know, be the start of like a whole, you know, a whole new wave of kids that are going to be exposed to like family vlogging. And that is obviously also what I think about. It's like, it's weird. It's like the Kardashians. It's like we now have like grandbabies. Like, you know, we, we have like, um, have like small kids on the way. We have, we have the grandparents covered up in here. Do you know what I mean? And I feel, I, I don't know. I feel like obviously the internet is an extremely toxic place at times and there's just never any need for that kind of hostility. But if she wants to be able to, she wants to be able to talk about that kind of thing on her own page, just let her, she can do her own thing. You know, I still hold my suspicions quite high that Kennedy wasn't telling the ultimate truth about when she was actually telling her husband. And this compared to a lot of the other stuff I talk about is just so like, why like so mind-numbing sometimes 
But I feel like it does need to be spoken about like it does. I mean, these people perpetually live online and I just can't imagine having that much personal information out about myself online where you have like little kids asking the most like the most random questions about your own personal life. It's just it's weird to me. It's weird to me. And I said it in my last video, I would never let my six year old, seven year old, eight year old, whatever, watch family vloggers like this because it is, yeah, I don't know. I think it's strange. You can go watch that video if you if you want to. But these are just like my closing thoughts. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.